say they will no longer lock up black hair care products. Walmart uh, joined CVS and Walgreens in saying that they will ensure that the products will not be stored behind glass cases. The companies say that after taking a closer look at its security practices overall, they decided the practice is out of step with the times that we're now living in and that it sends a message of being prosecuted as soon as you walk into the store. It, it absolutely does. Why the hell is Glover's main behind glass in Thousand Oaks? Well, why? Need it. Somebody's stealing it. Why? You know the eight people that live over uh, there. Why the hell is Ed's Tamer? <laughs> Ed's Tamer and, and, and Ed's Tamer is locked up. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. And they do it because, yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's Cause, true. Because the most things that are stolen are batteries and razor, bla razor blades. You can walk and all through detergent. those. Yeah. Laundry Well, they do have that crisp white strips uh, locked up. They do. Yeah. And some perfumes. Yeah. What? Well, they do, like Mariah Carey's <laughs> butterfly. I don't know why. They need to let that fly like away. Yes. <laughs> in all now, the I clarity. Can, I, I can see they, they, when I can see that because they can use those for, you know. Yeah, make, but that's them, right. though. Yeah, but but <laughs> but I don't understand why you locking up Jupe and Lagerfeld. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> uh, what, are you, what, what are you going to do with this gray flannel? You'll never get your hands on it. <laughs> Let me get some of that Adidas cologne, the you'll, three piece set. You'll never touch us, Destin, you black bastard. You'll never. People are starving for physical touch as the pandemic continues to rage on, and it's beginning to take a toll on physical and mental health. A survey found that more than three in five Americans are lonely, reporting feelings of being left out and lacking companionship. Social media and socially distanced get togethers can help people feel more connected, but scientists say there is no replacement for touch. Uh, absolutely, and you know what? It was a it was a poorly thought out, yes. instituted thing. It just said, just everybody stay away from each other and wear a mask. Mm -hmm. And all of this got stepped out. Like wearing a mask is new now. And then you know that uh, uh, Dr. Fauci is saying now that the reason that the administration didn't tout the virtue of wearing virtue of wearing masks was because he knew that they weren't enough in production. Mm -hmm. So that's why you mm -hmm. had a dumbass mm -hmm. second. What was that dumb surgeon wow. general showing you how to make? Uh, uh, <laughs> ma a mask out of bandanas which have no that bacteria. They just make you look like you're going to rob a bank. Yeah. Right. So true. You know, it's interesting. Uh, uh, there was a, a friend of uh, Lena's, uh, Jazz Walters, who actually committed suicide. And when they went back and looked through all of her social media, she talked about how she had already been diagnosed with depression, but being at home and being locked away yeah. from her friends and family uh, actually compounded <sighs> what she was already feeling, and she just really couldn't take look it. Look at all anymore. the people who, uh, who, are, who are basically quarantined with their abusers. Yeah. Mm. Right. They, they, they can't. They, 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 you, there's no. There's no relief. There's no school to go to. There's no mm -hmm. distraction. It's just every day. And your idea is to that 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 works. Right. And 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 I was in Dallas. I'll be in uh, Nashville this Friday, Saturday, Saturday. You know what's different? Um, there's no uniformity. Right. Not not even between county. There, there should be a standard uniformity that we all deal with this with. That, that it comes from the federal government that tells people the guidelines, but that has been ad hoc at best. Um, and you see, all, and the same people right now, um, Larry Kudlow, who's in charge of the economy, I don't know what the hell he is, he's not an epidemiologist, I don't know, but uh, the very people who, who once denied that, co that COVID existed are now uh, denying its reemergence. So it never existed before. It wasn't real, and now yeah. it ain't real again. It's coming back again. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's it's twice as not real this right, time. Right, right. So true. So an Italian village that bills itself as COVID-free is attempting to attract new residents. Operation Beauty is designed to attract new residents willing to renovate abandoned homes that have fallen into despair. The program offers houses for only a dollar, but the purchaser must pay an annual policy insurance fee of about two hundred eighty dollars until the renovations on the home are complete and you have about three years to do those renovations operation beauty right mm -hmm. well i was thinking of starting a charity called operation booty for all the big oh big yeah girls who hang out nowhere to live oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> one dollar absolutely yeah. Oh, no 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 that's gonna be more than a dollar <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm gonna have my ad right next to his and see who gets the most hits oh god <laughs> all right jasmine sanders <laughs>